Soul Soul Simmers and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to do something that I've seen a couple of people do and I'm a little bit scared of it because it's uh, a build challenge. I don't know, I'm on a build challenge funk apparently, but we're going to try the black and white build challenge. I did put my game to base game only for the simple reason that otherwise I will be overwhelmed with all the choices and I'm just going to try to like build a cute starter home. That's my goal for today. Once we've built the starter home, I'm going to turn off my black and white filter and we're we're gonna see well how I did and since the sims is kind of notorious for not having matching swatches I am scared what this is gonna do so let's just get started shall we I loaded into this small 20 by 15 lot uh, which is called oak alcove it is in Newcrest and I was like you know what I'm just gonna start with a small lot and I'm not gonna lie to you it is already difficult that everything's black and white because you think you know which colors things have as soon as you haven't seen them for five minutes you will have forgotten but we're just gonna start with a basic layout of a cute little starter home and let's me actually do that so i can see the budget of this we have a little living room maybe kitchen situation that could be a cute little hallway off of that we can maybe make a bedroom that goes like this is it is a pretty big bedroom but i think that's okay there can be a bathroom that goes like this that's also a pretty big bathroom but i think that's also fine and then the question is do i want to make this like a two-bedroom house House. because if I want to do that then we definitely need to get smart with the with the space that could be maybe potentially a second bedroom that could be cute for like you know maybe that could be the parents room and then that could be a little kids room we have a little hallway and then this could be a living space although there's going to be a lot of doors in here so now that I look at this I feel like maybe this should be a bit bigger so kind of like this I feel like I have to compensate with making like a cute outdoorsy space or like a cute house or at least a house that looks good on the outside because it's probably gonna look terrible on the inside. I don't wanna, you know, spoil anything, but that's the feeling that I have. Um, also, we could totally do like a little chimney over here. I think that should be cute. That might be a little bit big for a starter home. That's the only concern I have. But you know, let's just ignore that for now and just start roofing it. Let's pretend that we don't have any issues yet with the colors. And we're just going to make sure that we have at least acceptable roofing on this thing. That's also something that I just realized. Like, what if we actually build a really cute house and then it's still unplayable because all the colors look so terrible? Okay, I feel like that works. The only thing is I don't know what to do in terms of like roofing this part now. And I also feel kind of tempted to maybe get rid of this part and like use this one over here too, because then it has the same angle. That's the word I was looking for. I was like, what is the word for this? Oh, you know what? I could do something like this. I don't think I use this roof very often, but I think if I like lower it and then kind of drag drag it in so it connects over there. That's pretty nice. And then especially if I do it like that, I think that works. That looks pretty cute. Okay, and then let's go for a roof trim. Oh no. Oh, how do I know which is the, I mean, I guess this is just the white one, but how do I know? I mean, that's the lightest one. So I'm just gonna assume that that is the white trim. Maybe now we have a yellow trim. I don't even know. Do we have yellow trims in this game? Okay, and then for this one, I know it only comes in like two swatches. That is, that is good. I was actually debating whether I wanted to do a red roof on this thing. I'm not sure I know which one the red roof is. <laughs> Let's just go for this now so that at least the outside of the house has a potential of looking remotely good. And then we can always mess it up on the inside. That's going to be my philosophy. We're going to try to make the outside look good because we're probably going to mess it up on the inside. Okay, let me actually make a super small porch over here. And then we can drag. You know what? I think we can drag out the whole roof because then we can put some columns on there. I think this could be cute. Hold up. I'm also decorating far too much for a house where it's already safe to say that we're not gonna have enough budget to actually make it fully look cute but i'm trying because again oh okay if it's like okay i need to move it one back this is a big house for a starter home i might have made some mistakes here i think maybe moving it two back might be a wise decision then i have a little bit more space to work with in the front do i just do a three wide stairs i mean i could and then i think we should do some railing i feel like this is a relatively fancy starter home but that that's okay okay that has at least a nice look to it so far it also kind of looks like the house here but this was my 10 minute build challenge which is also a video on my youtube channel which um if you want to laugh in my face you should totally watch that because uh, i didn't do so well let's just say it like that i didn't do very great on the 10 or i've done a couple of 10 minute build challenges and some of them are completely fine um some of them i messed up 
royally. And like, I think even royally is an understatement. I think that is the white swatch of this because I always use it. And it just, there's, all, that's also the thing. I feel like a really big chunk of being able to do this challenge well is being able to rely on like your muscle memory for The Sims. You know, I've done a lot of building. One would expect that I have some muscle memory at least. Okay, let's, let's get a double door. Even though those are a little bit expensive, let's get that one because, well, it's not technically a double door, but it's like a little bit more of a, a bigger and a grand door. And then in terms of windows, I might just keep it simple, but let's first do a floor plan or like, I mean, technically I've done a floor plan, but like place some doors on the inside. So I kind of know where some windows have to go while still making it look good on the outside. I think I want this door to kind of go in that corner, like kind of keep the doors in the corners as much as possible. I want to space them out a little bit so they're not like directly connected to each other. And then I think I want to do a small archway over there. I said small, and then I realized, do I want to do small or like this? I think that might be cute. And then let's start by placing some lights so that I can actually see something because that's also a downside of trying to do something like a black and white build. It feels darker than it usually is. I'm also going to raise this up like the platform inside of it so that whenever you're playing in this build, the wall there doesn't go down because that always looks a little bit silly. And then I think maybe doing two windows over here could look nice. Like at least either one or two. I think two might be nice like that. And then maybe we can do one window over here and one window over there. And then we don't necessarily need a window in the bathroom, but I might do like, I was gonna say I might do a small window. I could do it like that. And then I think maybe having one window over there in that bedroom. And then this side of the house doesn't have any windows. I'm kind of doubting if that makes sense. Although I have a feeling like it is kind of realistic. And also that's the, the side of the house where there's a chimney. I feel like usually there's no, no windows on that side of the house. And I'm not sure if I'm just making this up. I, I sincerely do not know, but decent. Ex okay. I, I think this foundation is red or gray. So I think those are like safe choices. Let's actually, oh, this is going to be so tricky. I have to pick a paint for the outside of the house. I feel like going for something like this is a very safe choice. Yet, I have no idea which color combinations these are. I think this is like, this might be red or like gray and, and white. Let's just go for it, even if it turns out that it's a terrible color combination, because we can think about it really long and we're still not going to be able to figure it out. So I might as well just use it. At least that looks matching in black and white. Maybe this is just one of those builds where you should play in black and white. This, I feel like this build has um, a lot of risk when you make a mistake, because as soon as you go back, you're like not 100% certain anymore what you did before. Okay, so let's get some stone, like something like this, and then maybe like that. That could have either been a mistake or a genius option. I'm not 100% sure yet. Also, okay, if I want this to look at least half decent, but I want to make it a starter home, I'm gonna need some help from debug landscaping. So we're gonna have to use use debug and life edits to make sure that at least we can do some landscaping without spending too much money. But I think it might actually save us from embarrassment or it might make it worse, you know, if you start using colored flowers. But I was going to say, like, it, it might save us from embarrassment of a house that looks absolutely ridiculous because now we might actually be able to make it look somewhat decent. Okay, I think that looks pretty cute. Maybe we should get a, a tree in the front yard over here, something like that. And then over here, maybe we can place some planter boxes or something. I feel like I'm, I'm I'm sincerely postponing working on the inside of this build. Is it noticeable that I'm trying to not work on the inside of the build because then I know I have to start looking into colors and that just scares me, okay? It scares me, truly. Whereas with all the things I can place on the outside, it's not as scary because I kind of know like the swatches and stuff. Like I know that looks half decent. Not 100% sure if it's 100% decent, but it looks half decent and that's decent enough for me right now. Okay, so we're already on 8K and I have not decorated that much, but I do really want to get this in the backyard. Like, that's also a thing. I feel, again, I feel like I have to compensate for that this is gonna not look too great color-wise, so that I want to make it a cute and functional build, which might be a mistake, because who is gonna play in this if it's, you know, if it's not good looking? Okay, I'm not sure if that looks good, because it's really hard. I just noticed it's really hard to see the terrain paint in black and white, but we're still gonna do some shading underneath of this. There we go. Might look terrible. Who knows? Oh, we need a mailbox. Before I forget that, because I tend to, to to forget mailboxes in this game. And then when people download the build, it's just going to have this weird mailbox situation in the living room or something. But I think that works. Okay, now let's get started on the inside. I have postponed it for long enough. Okay, so let's start with the bathroom because I feel like maybe 
guessing which tile is the white one might be doable. I guess, oh, I sincerely hope that that is a white one. I really, really hope that that is a white one. And then tile for on the wall. I believe the default swatch is white for that one. And then let's actually figure out what we want to do here. It is a pretty big bathroom. And since this might be a house where we have kids, I kind of want to try and get the bath like a bathtub and a shower in here because I think that would make this build the most functional. But again, we have to kind of keep an eye on. Oh, I'm just realizing I'm just grabbing like the default swatches of stuff. I feel like with bathroom stuff, you can kind of do that because you're sort of safe. Oh, I just realized we also need a toilet in here. I, I just started placing cute clutter, but we kind of need a... Do I place the toilet directly? I feel like the toilet maybe should go here. And then we should do like a little half wall to kind of separate the bathtub from it. I always struggle with like the placement of showers in bathrooms where there's windows like this. Although I think technically this could go here. I just noticed. We just had a little toilet in a bathtub situation. I mean, it kind of works with the windows, so I think then I might just do it like this. And then I'll put the toilet. Do I put the toilet right next to the door? And then I can do some cabinets. Oh, no. Oh, not the kitchen cabinets. How am I going to know which color swatch will work? How am I going to know? Okay, so I want to use this one, I guess. I'm just going to go for this color. I have no idea whether it's good, but we're just going to go for it. And then I think this should work because the other day on stream, people told me that if there's like one tile where they get into the bathtub, although that might actually be this tile. I'm not sure. I think this should be technical, uh, technically functional, even if you have like toddlers. And then let's get a mirror. Let's do one of these bigger ones. I have no idea whether that color is good. I just realized I said, let's do one of these bigger ones. And then I, I just grabbed a color. But I feel like that was a muscle memory situation. I'm not 100% sure if it was, but it felt like a muscle memory situation. Let's get that one on the door again. Don't know if the color actually will look good. You know what we could also do? We could place the shower like this and then the bathtub like this. Now I'm 100% sure this should be functional. Like if we scoot in the toilet a little bit and then we can also put the toilet roll like right there because right now I didn't have any toilet paper. And now we need a bath mat. Which is also like, I think I can just use this one because I know the default swatch is black and white. Feels a little bit lame to do that, but we have to, you know, we have to work with what we have in this game. And then I do really, really want to get a plant like my bathroom plant. It should just be in here. And I think if I size this down and place it over here, that should be okay. Like, I think that should work. And then the last thing I want to do is I do want to change the lighting to like the smaller saucer light. And I want to change my light to be warm white. That's also muscle memory. Me changing it to warm white. I've done that so many times that I just know how it works. Okay, we've already used 12K. I think, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to give this bathroom a simple sink, just the cheap sink with the cheap mirror. How about that? I do feel like I truly want to have a bathtub and a shower for the simple reason that if you do play here with a a toddler that might be useful but let's just check this one is 2100 this bathtub the one that i used is 300 and the shower is okay so that's definitely cheaper than using the bathtub combo now i have to do the flooring for the rest of the house and i feel like i think that one is just a dark brown i think i i'm just safe with going for that one and just leaving it as it is but the wallpaper does scare me a little bit. I'm, for the kids' room, I'm going to go for this one as the default swatch because I believe it's pretty good. And for the parents' room... Oh, what do I do? Oh, oh, this is so difficult. You know what? I might actually want to go for the penguin one. I don't... Because I don't know what color that is. Like, by default, I don't know what the default swatch is. It says hand-painted. I know that we have, like, some some really nice colors in here, but I, I sincerely have no clue. I'm just going to go for that. And that might turn out really ugly or really good. <laughs> I am just winging it and we'll see what happens. Okay, luckily there's not many like options for beds in the base game. So let's go. I kind of have to go for the cheapest bed. I think that's the... I'll just go for that one. And I honestly do not know if that looks good. We have to go for the cheaper bed tables. I'm actually not even sure if we'll have money for two bed tables. So let's just not even try and let's just see what we can do later let's at least get a plant in here and we definitely need a wardrobe too but let's get i think does that okay that actually doesn't save you that much money so let's go for this one and let's get that one i have no clue what color that is and then i'll look at rugs later on and now i just need to get some wallpaper in here i feel like i think that is white 
I'm not 100% sure, but let's let's actually change up the lights to be the not saucer lights, but I want to use this one so that at least I have money to use those lights. Okay, we're at 13K and I have not done a kitchen. That worries me a little bit. And also I just realized I might actually not use this archway and I might use the smaller one. One, it's a bit cheaper, I think. Okay, not a bit. It's like a hundred simoleons cheaper. And also if that goes like this, I can put a little kitchen over here. That's my philosophy for now. The question is, do I want to put it all the way over there? Then I can actually... I was gonna say, then I can actually put something here as if as, as if I am gonna have money to put stuff over there. I mean, technically, if you move in here with two Sims, you have 22 Simo uh, thousand, not 20,000, you have 22. So maybe we can take advantage of that. Okay, so I think this one, it is a lot cheaper. I think that is the white swatch. I'm not 100% sure, but we're definitely gonna get the cheapest appliances of everything because there is just simply no way that we can afford anything else. And we're gonna have to use the cheapest cabinets and i know it comes in like a beigey color so and i i think it is that one i'm just not sure and it scares me a little bit oh that's actually kind of difficult because now i don't have a sink if i place it like that then the cabinet fits oh that is horrendous okay so i'm gonna have to use the end piece of this and then it fits like this then technically at least your sims can cook on that can I use the end piece over here? Like, does that fit? I think if I move the door slightly, that should fit. Then we still don't have a sink. Like, it doesn't solve my sink problem. But I was thinking maybe we can do a little kitchen island situation. So again, I'm going to use the last swatch in good hopes that that actually is what I need. Like, and then we could have a sink in here. I mean, it's, it's a little bit odd that you enter right into the kitchen. <laughs> like, your hallway leads directly into your kitchen island. But at the same time, I feel like that might be kind of realistic for smaller homes. And then we can do it like this. And then they could even have their laptop. Like, do we? Yeah, we do have a, a base game laptop. It is just really expensive. Like, compared to the computer, I feel like maybe we should even have the computer over there. But that just looks ridiculous. The question is, is it worth it to spend almost 2K versus 800 on a laptop sitting on the counter? Because that just looks better. I am not sure yet. I will have to think this through. Oh no, so fast. Oh, I don't want to think about this. I think the default swatch of this one is green. And I think that's going to be fine. I mean, I will get them the small TV then. I think that is a safe option to just get them the small TV. And then I was like, oh, I do want to do some paintings or something because this wall is so terribly empty. But I have not decorated the kids room. So maybe I should just use wallpaper with the risk of this looking absolutely terrible but i think that might be black and white so i'm just gonna go for it i mean what is life with it without taking a little bit of risk i mean this feels like a lot of risk but oh i want to do a cheap rug is there a rug like this one i know it's i think that might be the blue swatch but we'll see and then again i really 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 want to put a plant am i just gonna put the same as that we have in the bedroom we don't really have any money for it but i feel like I do, I, it already looks a little bit sad in here, you know? Okay, I do want to have a bookcase too. Maybe, so that's obviously the, the most cheap bookcase you can get. Those are very typical kids bookcases. So I think like the first semi-adult bookcase is either this one or this one. I don't like the default swatch of that one. I do know that much. So I'm just going to go for that one with the potential again of it being really ugly. And now I just need to decorate the kids room. And then as soon as we have that out of the way, at least we have a functional home. I'm not saying it's a good looking home, but you can like live here if you wanted to. I'm going to make this, I guess I'm going to make this a toddler room or maybe an infant room could be better. No, I want to make it a toddler room because that's more playable, I think. So we definitely need a potty in here. And I think we need a bookcase and we need a blarfy like i'm just trying to think of okay what is not super expensive but what is super useful for your toddlers to play with uh let's see what else do we have we could put like a cute rug i think i don't know what the color of that is so that could be a horrible mismatch but we'll see we can put blarfy on this side of the room i do think that if you end up playing in this house like right now it is quite an empty room i guess although we could I mean, I could use tool to size this one up because I think right now it is a little bit too small, but if you scale it up, it's too big. But if we do it like this, uh, maybe even... There we go. That's pretty good. Also, you don't need a changing table if you're playing with a toddler. It could still be nice, but we don't have them in the base game. 
Oopsie. Uh, we could also put maybe a high chair like in the kids' room because then you can at least give them because there's no dining table, right? So, but then at least you can easily give them food. Although I never use the high chair, but I do know that a lot of people do tend to use the high chair. I just placed the nesting blocks on the floor. I'm trying to figure out if there's any other toys. Like we are at 19,000. So technically I have managed to make this a functional starter home. The only thing I would really like to add is an easel because right now we don't have any skill building items for adults. The easel is 300. So with that, we still stay, and that is including the lot value. We still stay in a starter home. So honestly, I think maybe this might be it. This We might be done. Like the, your Sims can garden. There's already a little bit of playground equipment for if your kid grows up. You start with a toddler room, which if you really wanted to make it an infant room, you can quite easily change out this bed for something else. There's a fully functional bathroom. There is place like a double bed for technically there's two Sims that could sleep in here. They even have a wardrobe. There is a mirror in the bathroom if you need to do like any speech practicing or, you know, getting gaining confidence activities. There is a fully functional kitchen, which is very minimally decorated, but I guess it works. We don't have a very nice looking hallway, but you could totally expand on that. Like the longer you live here, you can get some cute stuff for the hallway. Maybe if you have multiple packs, you can get the umbrella stand and stuff. And then we have a laptop. I mean, in black and white, this build looks pretty cute. I am going to turn on my colors and hopefully not cry. Ooh, the game is so bright. If you turn on the colors, wow. I also have reshade which obviously makes like my colors brighter and stuff. Okay, I mean, the chimney is a different color than the brick over here, but honestly, it's not even that bad looking. From the outside, this build is perfectly fine. I don't like the white windows on like the cream colored paneling too much, but I think I could have done a lot worse in terms of the outside of the house. Like that's pretty decent. I am genuinely scared for the inside of the house though. Oh, I mean, the living room is, or or the, the main living space is definitely an interesting color combination. They have a pink stove. <laughs> I genuinely thought this was white. They have a pink stove. But I mean, they have like light blue with the pink and then kind of the, all of these colors. I genuinely think this kind of works. The only thing I would have done is like, I would have changed the sofa to be this color if I had seen the swatches. But this is a color scheme I don't think I would have ever gone for, but it's genuinely not as bad as I would have expected it to be. And okay, this room is a bit interesting. At least the wardrobe matches the wall, but I did not expect this to be teal. And maybe I wouldn't have gone for a pink bed had I known that the bedroom was a teal color, but it's not that bad. And honestly, the kids room looks pretty cute. Like it looks fine. Okay, this could have gone a lot worse. I think if I had seen the swatches, I would have definitely made some other choices. I would not have given them a pink stove, nor would I have given them, well, maybe I would have given them a pink bed, but I probably wouldn't have put this teal color all over the wall. I would definitely have picked another swatch of the sofa had I known that this was not white, but it was light blue. But for the kids room, I'm honestly pretty happy with how it turned out. Like a kids room can be a little bit more colorful, so that is easy. And for the bathroom, I think you can't even see that I built it in black and white, but let's be real, I didn't, I wasn't really daring enough at that point. Like I only made a white bathroom because I knew where all the white swatches were. And I think truly this this build is an account for how well my muscle memory for The Sims is. I'm not sure if that's something that I should be proud of, whether that's a life skill or whether it's a problem, but I'll leave that to you to decide whether it's something good or something bad. Please do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this. And also make sure to subscribe because I have a lot of fun build challenges coming up. I have like a whole backlog of build challenges that I've been wanting to try since forever. And I cannot wait to try them all in 2024. So feel free to hop on the build challenge bandwagon. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please toss it a cheeky like. And with all of that out of the way, I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.